Gina Paulus here with Home Buddies. Today I'm going to show you a modification for an exercise called Chin Tuck Head Lift. It's great if you struggle with traditional Chin Tuck Head Lifts or if you have trouble feeling your deep neck as opposed to the front or the superficial neck muscles when you do this exercise or really any ab exercises for that matter. So you can lie on your back and you're going to have a foam roller or a couple of pillows handy to squeeze between your legs. So what you'll do next is you're going to take index and middle finger and place that against your forehead. Make sure that your neck is pretty neutral. You don't want your chin way up high and you also don't want it way down low. So eyes on the ceiling is a good checkpoint. So next we'll breathe in. Feel the side and back ribs expanding. As you breathe out, squeeze your roller, push your head into your fingers and your fingers into your head. So it's like a tug of war and you're trying to make them even out. You probably will feel your ribs knitting together and drawing down a bit. Now you can hold that for about five seconds, especially if you're used to the move. If you're not used to it, you can just try for one second of hold. So anything between one and five is fine. Five obviously being more advanced. Go ahead and breathe in again. Join the side and back ribs, breathe out pressing your head into your fingers and fingers into head. Now, if you're still feeling the front of the neck more than deep inside the neck, what you can do is take your tongue, press it against the roof of your mouth, and then draw it back slightly so that it almost feels like it's starting to close off your throat. And that tongue position change helps your deep core system activate a bit. So the deep core is gonna run from your head inside your throat all the way down towards your pubic bone and it's going to be really deep. So it's not the front of the muscles that you can see, but these are the muscles that really give your spine the stability that it needs. So working them is definitely worthwhile. So I'll show you one more. And you don't have to squeeze the roller when you're breathing in, but as you breathe out, you want to squeeze that roller, you can draw your pelvic floor up to help your abs kick in better as you are pushing with the fingers. So breathing in, Ribs expand, breathing out, pelvic floor draws up, tongue is back in the back of your mouth with against the roof of the mouth. You're checking in that your neutral head. And that is your chin tuck head lift modification.